And cheers for the eighth day of the little adventure. For the eighth day, I have a little confession. I paused my reportage for eight for two days. I was invited by a very dear friend of mine to come on her wedding. And that was in the middle of my trip. So I sat on the bus in Nikšić took a 14-hour trip back to the Belgrade so I can rest a little bit, buy a present, go to the wedding and during that evening, late in the evening, I sat on the train that went to Podgorica, to Montenegro and then I took the train from Montenegro to Donikšić. Basically, I spent more than one day traveling to be on my friend's wedding. It wasn't that much for her not to forgive me for not being there. It was more me really wanting to be on that very special day for her. And sort of me, because I'm her friend, right? The morning I came back to Nikšić, I met with Damir. I sat on my bike, which was extremely stupid idea, but I'm not well known for normal ideas. So we sat on the bike and took a road trip straight towards Canyon, Canyon of Piva. There was a artificial lake made uh, during the former Yugoslavia because they made a dam that was over 100 meters, that is over 300 feet tall. And they had to move, resettle a lot of people from that area to the different places. Damir took his girlfriend uh, on his motorcycle. I followed them and the road was great, extremely great. But for me, at one point, it was a real torture to ride. Why? Because I was too tired, the road wasn't very wide, it was kind of narrow and it had a lot of tunnels, very short one. So I had to put my sun visor down, but once when I entered the tunnel, I couldn't see shit. I was totally blind, blind as a bat. So I tried to memorize the way that road goes into the tunnel, I slowed down, um, I let my eyesight adjust to the dark and then I follow the road and enter exit the tunnel. Luckily for me those tunnels are very very short so at one point I let Damir to take a lead so I followed his rear light. I was so tired that uh, the road wasn't very good it was full of potholes. If I was rested that wouldn't be any problem at all but i was so tired that that really affected the way i drove the bike at one point i remember that while i was driving my head was going down like i was falling to sleep but i hit the i hit the pothole and i kind of like woke up and after a while it was a bit torture it was extremely dangerous for me but we managed to reach the dam safely. So we parked the bike, we took a few photos. Of course, it is forbidden there to take pictures, but we did it anyway. So when we stopped there, I refreshed a little bit. I kind of woke myself up and we continued the ride. The rest of the ride wasn't that difficult. The first part was insane but later on it was much much better when we got near border crossing on the river drina uh, i realized there was a rafting base people go there with rafts and just go uh, down the river drina it is like an international happening from a time to time the, the organizers did very well promoting that part 
of, of the country. And it is kind of joint venture with, with both sides and it is great. I've never been there, but everybody who went rafting flipped out. It, they say it was like a great, one of the greatest experiences of their lives. But I wasn't there for rafting, I was there following the path of the people who fought in the Liberation War. We drank the coffee, I ordered extremely strong black coffee and when they brought it, I drank it and it felt like I fell down in the barrel full of Red Bull. I was lifted momentarily. Damir and his girlfriend went back to Nikšić and I jumped in the line for the to cross the border. While I was standing in the line, I was thinking about that Interpol wanted list for my vehicle two days ago I and I was like, okay, if that wasn't settled, what now? So that hour and a half that I stood in line kind of was taking too long, you know, like the time bending moment. But when I got there, I gave my passport, my driving license and the registration license and I passed with no problem. The road that leads to the main road was kind of strange, extremely narrow and I really don't know how two cars passed each other on that road but I saw buses, like big buses going there. I was praying that no bus will come in, in the opposite direction while I'm on that part of the road and luckily for me everything went smoothly. I had a few moments when I had to really slow down to pass by the car, cars but it's okay and then the road widened up but there was another surprise welcoming committee made out of few cows in the middle of the road it felt like i'm in uh, india because those cows are just nonchalantly walking in the middle of the road i continued my ride i entered the town of focha some kids directed me towards the monument in the Sutiska National Park. From that moment, it was highly enjoyable. The nature there is breathtaking. When I arrived there, I parked the bike below the monument and it had a stairs that leads up. I decided to take the stairs up to the monument, you know, to go the hard way. And I didn't know how much steps there are. Actually, on my way back, I counted 303 steps. Maybe I missed one or two or counted over one or two, but it is around 300 steps. And when I climbed there, it was overwhelming. The monument is facing the mountains on the opposite side and on the inner part of the monument you can see stylized faces engraved in the concrete. From the monument you can take the path behind it where is the circular area with the names of all divisions who fought in that battle. For more details about the monument, about the battle that was fought there, I will leave the link in, in the description. But I would like to mention that that was one of the greatest battles in the Balkans because over 120,000 troops from Axis power attacked 22,000 partisans. The Axis powers tried to catch Tito again, but at one point Tito made an extremely bold move. He ordered for the troops to push on one flank and tried, tried to break through, which they miraculously did, but the expense of 7,000 partisans dead. That is one of the greatest battles in the Balkans and in Yugoslavia, for sure. After visiting the Valley of the Fallen, I decided to go south, actually to go towards the town of Bileća again, so I can ride that serpent road towards Nikšić again. But this time I took a few pictures. When I got to the border crossing, the very same border crossing that I was a few days ago, 
The very same police officer, the border cop, was checking out my documents and again he looked at me and he said your, your vehicle is in the Interpol wanted list and I said but I was here a few days ago and I was talking to you and he said really? Yeah, I, I was here for the 45 minutes, you were checking the documents, you said it was okay and now it's not okay, I passed the border crossing into the Bosnia from Montenegro at Szczepan Polje today and they didn't make any fuss about it and now you tell me it's on the Interpol wanted list again? And he said, well, it seems so, but I will check with my commander and we will clear that off the list. So he went back to superior officer again and I waited there for around 25 minutes. He handed me the documents and said, from now on you will have no problem. I was there, the commander cleared your vehicle from the Interpol wanted list, you're free to go. But I ask, please, are you really sure this time? Because I really have to cross the border towards Serbia in a day or two. And he said, no, 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 no problem. The list is clear, you're free to go. I continued my ride, and but this time I had to stop at the place where that curvy road begins. As you can see in the picture, it is a very nice road to ride and it lasts for several kilometers. After that, I went back to Nikšić to meet my wife, my kids, her relatives and I spent the night there. So I guess this is the end of another day of my travels. Hopefully tomorrow I will cross the border with no problems. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button, you can hit the like button also and if you wish you can drop a comment down below and I guess I'll see you next time. And to keep tradition alive, get on!